Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, Paul. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MCK Global with the final press conference for this Friday night's show from the Royal Albert Hall live on BT Sport. She's back. <laughs> Nicola Adams with a new status of a WBO champion. But I'm assuming that you want to kind of win the fight on, on Friday to really kind of, in your head, be mentally champion. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Um, it was like a bit of a love and hate winning the winning the title without actually having to fight for it. I'd been training training for it, and um, we just wasn't wasn't sure um, whether she was going to be able to fight because of her injuries or not. And then when they said that she couldn't, and you know, and I got the title, I was a bit I was happy, but I was sad at the same time. But now on um, on Friday, I'll be able to call myself a real champion when I when I step in that ring and fight for the title. I mean, it's through obviously no fault of your own how kind of the rules work, if we like, but it's happened in the past before where uh, people have been elevated to full champion. But I suppose it's a mental thing more so than anything else, Nicola. Yeah, definitely. Like you do all that training in the gym, all that hard work, those you know those tired, tiresome, tiresome training sessions, and then. You're like, oh, you're champion. You're like, what? <laughs> I've done all that training and, you know, I've just been elevated. But, um, you know, I've just kept on, kept my head down, kept kept going, kept on training. And I, the, the fight's finally here. I'm going to be boxing at the Royal Albert Hall, the same place. Muhammad Ali boxed, who's my hero. So I'm, I'm buzzing. Since you've obviously turned professional, Nicola, this has only been your sixth fight. Um, can you kind of just talk us through why there has been that kind of bit of inconsistency and inactivity in the number of fights you've had? Yeah, it's just been hard to tie down the champion. Um, as we know in the pro game, it's a, it's a lot different <laughs> with, the, with the politics. It's not like the amateurs, you, you know, you all get thrown into the draw and whoever you draw, that's it, you fight. Um, it's a lot different and I had an injury, then she had an injury, so it's, it's been a bit, bit of a slow burner, but, but now things are moving forward. I've got the title. Um, I'm looking to be boxing again in December and then continuing on um, after the New Year's. Is it, it seems like when you kind of first turned pro, you made some quotes that you kind of wanted to get in and get out, basically. So how's that kind of plan working out? Yeah, it's not it's not working as fast as I'd have liked it to, yeah. but um, it's moving in the right direction now. Like I say, it's, it's a lot harder to tie the champions now, but now I've got a, a world title of my own now, I can really really start calling them out. And, and see if we can we can get one of the champions over the line. I want to I want to unify the flyweight division and then move move up a weight class as well and take over there too. I've I've got a lot of ambition, a lot of passion. Um, I love boxing. It's like I guess it's like how Pacquiao still boxing. You know, he's he's won all those all those millions and millions of pounds, but he still has that passion to fight. Whereas most people would be like, you know what? I've had a, I've had enough. I've done it all. I've made my money, and it's the same with me. I just I've just still got that passion. I've got that drive. Um, for for boxing and and that's what that's what keeps me keeps me going and gives me that fire to to keep on winning and wanting to achieve more. Where do you think the state of women's boxing is now? Obviously, it's more it's kind of a, a it's not really a thing anymore, is it? Because like there's women boxers on, on loads of cards. We're seeing Katie Taylor headline her own show uh, in Manchester coming up soon as well. So. Um, where do you kind of see the state of it right now? Oh, it's going really well. Um, like I said, Kate is um, headlining. Clarissa has been headlining the states. It's fantastic to see. Um, like I said, I, I love the I love the sport, and it's nice to be able to see um, the women's boxing pro progressing um, all the time. And as we as we keep elevating in status, um, women's boxing's growing. And it'd be nice to be able to sit back when I'm retired and and just see you know women headlining maybe in Vegas one day as well. Mm. It'd be it'd be wicked to see. Absolutely. I think my personal preference is that we need more women that speak like Carissa Shields in the game. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it would make some of these fights, uh, the pre-build up to them, a little bit more interesting. But Clarissa's doing her thing. I mean, she's, she's kind of, uh, yeah, she's, she's up there. Yeah, she is. She is. Yeah, she keeps definitely keeps it um, enter, entertaining for sure. She's calling out men. I think she called out Rocky <laughs> yeah. Fielding recently. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, can't see, I can't see me doing that, but <laughs> I'll, um, I'll be calling out the female fighters. I want, I want the champion. I want, I want to unify. I want the, I want the IBF. I want the IBF next. I want the WBC. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to get going. Mm. If, I, if I could, I'd fight them back to back, day after day, just like in the, in the amateurs. I'm ready. All right, well, listen, like I said, uh, first step for you, your first defence of your WBO crown on Friday night live on BT Sport. So uh, 
Wish you the best of luck with that. Did, did they make a Barbie doll of you? Yeah. Where, yeah. where can we buy that? Oh, do you know what? It's not on sale. It was made. Oh. It's a one of a one of a kind, one off. Oh. It was made for International so I was gonna, Women's I was Day. I'm thinking of Christmas presents for this year, and I thought I know a couple of people that would love a Nicola Adams Barbie doll, but I, there's only one made. Yeah, said. there's just one. I, I wish, I wish. Do you know what, Barbie? Have you, have you got that? We need that? to make some more. <laughs> have you got that as well? Sale. Yeah, you, yeah. You've got that? Yeah. You don't want to sell it, no? Nah, nah, no, it was, it cost, I think, it was £8,000 to make. Oh, maybe you keep it then. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, no problem. Uh, Nicola, thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck this week and your, uh, like I said, your first defence and, yeah, everyone tune into BT Sport if you're not at the Royal Albert Hall. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. The opportunity arose for him to close the show, and he did it in emphatic style. Oh. Whatever he hits, falls.